This is Dubrovnik airport area. Now here we have a very important infrastructure. It's a very big airport. It's an international airport connecting basically to the whole world. And it is a big facility. It is a big and important facility. It can serve the whole region. It has a lot of noise issue, issues though. That's why I'm also crawling for a Trebinje air, airport. <laughs> That's, they don't want here. But I think Trebinje should be a big uh, international airport, also with night flight allowance. That is my proposal actually, the so-called Herzegovina airport. But of course, when you see, they all will not like it because Divat and Dubrovnik and Podgorica are on very close distance and they all like that one, of course. But I'm for the so-called uh, Herzegovina airport in Trebinje. It would be much more logical to have a bigger one and to have that one. But okay, Dubrovnik is very important. So back off to this highway, basically, in the north and the east of that highway. And basically, pass, bypassing Dubrovnik also on an inland uh, um, trajectory, because that's very important, because when you see later the geography, and many of you know, and there's many videos on the line as well, the geography of the coastal magistrale is very difficult with a lot of bridges, bays. It's the most beautiful road, it's amazing. But what you need, obviously, is here at this Magistrale and then the Inner Magistrale and then the Highway in Trebinje. This is the cadence of things. This one, very good. You can extend it a bit. Then, of course, the Inner Magistrale and then you need... It's basically anyhow, I think, the road to, to Trebinje. I have not told, told the issue the Dubrovnik Trebinje road. I've been already, but my best knowledge you know because geography is not very far i think this is the road on the, the top of that mountain there is the access towards trebinje as in a way the capital of the republika srpska herzegovina part wow 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 the airport here beautiful way to pass i'm not sure if it, that is the road or it's a bit further behind but this is the whole airport area and i call for this airport to have a bigger sister european funded in trebinje the so-called herzegovina airport and that's a very good idea because there you could have night flights also in the season you can have intercontinental arrivals and that would be very good and it's also a way to buy in the Republika Srpska in the whole thing I call for a big airport which has flights to Asia in the summer and which has flights from America directly here because they will all, you know, we need one big one and here you see it's amazing, it is so beautiful not to believe, I'm so lucky look here you see the sea again <laughs> Oh, amazing! That's Safdat. It's one of the most beautiful cities of the whole Adriatic. I have no means to show it to you now in great details, but um, believe me, it is amazing. I was there with my children two years ago, and I really loved it. And here you have all these beautiful Croatian islands, massive investment, everything is regulated EU-wise. And when you can do something already, it's municipal infrastructure. Maybe not perfect, but already much better in the rest of the Balkans. And it is on the way to perfection. <laughs> you will be impressed. I will show you Croatia and Bosnia, and the difference is already astonishing. And here you have the whole Bay of Dubrovnik. Maybe we can see a glimpse. Yes, exactly. This is Dubrovnik over there. The amazing city. It was the um, Venetian Byzantinian control post of the Adriatic. It was basically also the dominant position of the Boko Kodorska. It all belonged to Dubrovnik because this was, of course, the one big.